in Qigong land, you know, the five elements, very similar to the five elements in Bon, right? In the in Qigong, and this is all based on the work that we did with like Tugu Nashen, right? So the heart is fire, fire element. The kidneys are water. Makes sense. The spleen is earth. Over here, yeah. The liver, hello liver. <laughs> and, and each are associated with color. So let me back up just one moment. So the heart is fire and it's red. Kidneys are yellow, I mean, not yellow, they're water. And the color is like the color of the uh, Aurora Borealis. Like that magic kind of blue, black, green, okay? And then the liver is green, the element is wood, spleen is yellow, the element is earth, okay? And then our lungs are white, the element is metal. So what I'd like to do for you guys is just um, share a practice that I've been incorporating and it can be done anywhere. It's not necessarily just seated practice. It's a wherever you are practice, okay? In which, okay, all you guys know, like a, a, you've seen the um, Tonkas of the Rainbow Buddhas, yeah? They're beautiful. Lorraine, you've seen them, yeah? I think so, but reboot my memory. So uh, a rainbow being a rainbow Buddha is, is a, it's all subtle, subtle energy. And it's, and it's essentially our, our emanation, right? And ideally we would get to that place when we leave our bodies and, and our bodies dissolve into a rainbow because it's the elements, yeah? So I encourage you to utilize that image, okay? And for this practice, you can sit with your hands on your knees, you can sit with your palms up, whatever your hands are telling you, okay? Sometimes I like playing with holding fire and water in my palms. Whatever arises for you, okay? I'll guide us through some breath work in a short seated practice, okay? So take a deep inhale. Gently hold it, drop the chin into the sternum. Draw up on the earthly doors. When you feel the need, lift the chin, release the earthly doors, exhale out through the crown of the skull. Okay, follow that breath all the way as far as you can and envision an electric blue light up through the central channel, okay? And again, deep inhale. Drop the chin into the sternum. Engage the earthly doors. Lift the chin, release the earthly doors, exhale out through the crown of the skull, the heavenly gate. And again, deep inhale. And drop the chin, earthly doors. When we release this breath, we're going to immediately inhale back down all the past, present, and future Buddhas. So exhale. We inhale back down in the form of a golden light. And drop the chin. Allow wisdom and compassion to permeate every cell of your body.
And when you're ready, lift the chin and exhale out through every cell of your body. And for the next few moments, regardless of whether you are in a flat or a house on one continent or another, begin to draw the elements into you with your mind. So connect to the energy of fire and draw it into your heart. Even if there's no body of water around you, there is water in the very air around us. So connect to it. Begin to draw it into your kidneys as we inhale. And exhale. And then connect to wood elements, the trees. Literally drawing their energy into your liver. You can watch it flow as a green light. Really nourishing and bathing your liver. And then draw earth energy into your spleen. Right again, no matter where you are, even if you're four floors up, the earth is holding you. Begin to draw that yellow, rich ochre color into your spleen. And then begin to draw white light into your lungs to cleanse them. Then you may find that one organ is kind of calling your attention more than the others. If that's the case, then simply stay there for a longer time. Right on the inhale, draw into you. And then on the exhale, it's like the color gets a little more darker and saturated or more saturated really. You may also consider any impurities or toxins leaving the body and the mind.
Take another deep inhale. And see if maybe you can just draw in all of the range of color and all of the elements simultaneously into you. And when you're ready, you can just open your eyes. So consider practicing that wherever you are. You know, it's just another form of connecting to the elements and to, you know, it's almost like a secret practice. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Drawing everything into me. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because it's especially useful, I find, with like monkey mind. You know, you're walking down the street and like it's all like, and then it's like, okay, just pause and connect. Does that make sense? Just connecting. And it has nothing to do with anyone else. Um, all right, so we're going to come and stand. I'm going to let Sochi in. Make sure you guys can see me. <clears throat> Pretty much. Searching. Search you search. Come on. Come on, search. Come on, search. Guest appearance from the cats. <clears throat> so find your mountain. Feet are out either together or hip width apart. Broaden the collarbones, lift up the sternum. You can take your hands to your ribs, get them up off your hips, or just do it with your mind. Yeah. Hands are in the Tai Chi Mudra. And then, and Anna, this will be helpful for you also, is just put a slight grip in the toes. You'll notice the arches pop up, right? So you can, you can start to retrain the arch to engage. With the doors closed, heavenly gate is open, connect to the spiritual needle. All right, the energy moving up from the earth, up through your body, out through the crown of the skull, and then also down through the crown of the skull. All right, that never ending, beautiful form. Take a deep inhale, exhale. See if you can settle your awareness and notice the vibration of your right eardrum and your left. Allow the consciousness in your collarbones to extend and touch the sides of the room. Perhaps even allow yourself to expand throughout time and space. Take a deep inhale, release the mudra, 
exhale, step out to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fingertips into the sky. Right, reaching your fingers through the ceiling of the room, the house, the apartment. Maybe suddenly you can actually feel the air on your fingers. And then reach up even more. Allow the sky to begin to enter you. Feel it flowing in between every joint in your fingers, your wrists. over your elbows, upper arms, into your shoulders, right, expanding. And then reach up even more, maybe your heels come up off the ground. Inhale, draw the arms down, shoulder height, palms are up, slight bend in the elbow, bend down, and jump up on the exhale and release. <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll do at least a good five minutes of shake discharge. I know I say this often, I feel like we could probably do like two hours. <laughs> <clears throat> Using a hum sound to also help discharge any stagnant energy. Okay, you both have been doing this for quite a while, so I encourage you, if you feel comfortable, maybe close your eyes, soften your gaze. Running fingertips through the scalp. Clearing sinuses, two fingers by the sides of the nose, inhaling. Maybe running the thumb into the top of the eye socket, releasing the muscles in the eye. Massaging temples. Joint of the jaw. My jaw has been tight. <laughs> and then Try doing this, running your hands down the sides of your throat, helping drain lymph. And then coming back up and doing sinuses again. Eyes. You can. Press the heels of the hands gently into the eyes. Roll the eyes around clockwise and counterclockwise about nine times. Gently pulling on the ears. Massaging the ears, opening the eustachian tube, oh yeah, reaching back and, and gently grasping or maybe even a bit more firmly grasping the muscles of the neck and up into the occiput. Some people might self included like this area tends to get super tight with stress. There in the lungs. <clears throat> <clears throat> and 
Back to the leg. That's all you When you're ready, doing the top of one arm, inside. Getting the heart. Releasing the wrists, elbows. <clears throat> it just cracks me up. Releasing the muscles of the tongue and the chest. <laughs> And then we are, some of the movements today are, are going to be using some shoulder movements. So opening the shoulders. That's it. Yeah. And again, connecting to the energy that's coming up from the foot, hip, shoulder, arm. All this kinetic energy. And then take a moment and freestyle. <laughs> um. Kind of undoing the fuckery. And then 10, uh, 9, 8, <laughs> 7, 6. That's a good one. Lorraine's doing that, all this. <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just Stop. Look one in, look within and notice. Draw the arms around. Step the right foot back to the left. As the fingertips face each other and the palms face the earth, just slowly come down, feeling the meridians of the subtle body. Come back to the Tai Chi Mudra. Hmm. Earthly doors closed, heavenly gates open. So we're going to move into the heaven element. And the heaven element, it can be done in a, I'm going to put my hair back up because it's kind of hot in the sun. The heaven element can be done in either mountain or horse stance. Let's play with it in mountain for now. So inhale, exhale, release the mudra. 
Okay, and it, so it's fun. One of the things that I do when I release the mudra is I feel my fingertips kind of grazing the floor. And then draw the arms around into prayer. Inhale, come down to the middle dantian. And then exhale, turn the left hand down. That's it, Anna. Good. And then, yeah, that's it. Nice, Anna. You totally adjusted, and I didn't even say anything. <laughs> From here, inhale, right hand comes up, left hand comes down, and then the right hand turns to feel the energy of the heavens. That's it. And then the left hand is feeling the energy of the earth. That's it, Lorraine. Yeah. So just pause and notice, feel. Right, you can even like press down. Notice as you press down with that left hand, the spine might raise. Okay, and then inhale, drawing the arms around. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, yeah. So it's a boxed breath pattern as I'm inhaling, retaining, and exhale. Another component that you can add to this is consider if you're moving in air, or perhaps as though you were moving in water. And very consciously aware of the rippling out of your movements. Right, and for those of us who do practice mantra, you can consider adding mantra to this. May all beings everywhere be free from pain and suffering. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be safe. May all beings live with ease. So now pause. Okay, consciously drawing energy up from the earth to the middle dantian. Energy from the heavens down to the middle dantian. Okay, and now that energy expanding outwards. So just notice. We'll do this a couple more times. Okay, inhale. And you can infuse the movement with whatever mantra arises for you. Exhale, and again, inhale, drawing in energy, exhale, sending out prayers. One more, inhale, exhale.
and then inhale, bringing the hands back together. And don't let them touch just yet, but feel that energy between your palms. Directly connected to the energy of your heart. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into Archer. So you can step out into a horse stance. So the, the practice that we just did, it reminds me of when I was in Nepal and I was doing Kora and there's around Bodhanath where uh, Venerable Rabina is right now. And there's prayer wheels everywhere, right? And you're rolling through the prayer wheels, you're doing your own mantra and Kora. And you know, essentially what I realized is that our bodies are prayer wheels and we're moving through space, right? Sending out prayers. Something to consider. All right, so from our horse stance, okay, deep, wide, shallow, whatever's working for you right now, okay? If you need to turn the toes out just a little bit, please do. Just watch the lower back. You don't wanna overarch the lower back. So tuck the pelvis slightly, lifting up on the bottom ribs. Good. Hands are gonna come into bear. Yep. So in bear, drop the elbows just a little bit, Anna, and the fingertips, yeah, there we go. Good. Now here, we're gonna inhale, right hand crosses in front of left, gather, exhale, pressing out firmly with the, the palm of the right hand. The left hand, my fingers are facing outward. Nice, Lauren, that looks great. Okay, and then again, inhale. Now left over right, gather, and then exhale. Inhale, gathering, exhale, releasing, archer. And I've got my four fingers up and my other three fingers are curled down. Hold it, inhale, exhale, inhale again, exhale, release, sighting where you want to go. And again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, gather, exhale, release. We'll do three more. So inhale, try and keep the, the upper body is up and the chest is facing forward, right? Because this is like you're on a horse, hence the horse stance. Two more, inhale. Gathering energy, exhale, aiming it through your heart. That's it. Nice, Anna, that looks awesome. Good, Lorraine, if you can, draw the your right arm up a little bit higher. No, not your left arm, your right arm. Yeah, so that you're, it's like my fist is at my cheek. Yep, when you release a bow, you're actually releasing right at cheek height. Let's do two more. So inhale, exhale. Don't forget about the earthly doors. One more, inhale, exhale. And then inhale, you can come in a little bit Make your stance a little bit. I know you can make it really fancy. I like when Master Wu does that. Pause here just for a moment. Okay, feel for me, my energy is like, right? Archer pose tends to do that. Your horse stance, you can keep it kind of shallow. You can come back into it, right? Ideally, as we're building up strength, we would just stay in horse stance. 
I did leg day the other day, so mine's going to be a little shallow, <laughs> a little shallow today. All right, we're going to move into fire, and we'll end with thunder. I don't think we'll have a lot of time to be with thunder, so we'll have to pick thunder up. Right, we're going to keep building on this, but you guys remember this one. We've done this before, so the palms turn up. Nice. Inhale. Arms come up. That's it, Lorraine. Good. And then exhale, press out. Good. So the right hand is up. It's protecting my face. The left hand is at like chest height, right? This is a defensive posture. Nice, Lorraine. Inhale. Come back through center. Palms are up. Exhale. Good. And I just realized I widened my stance. My back leg, my right leg is straight. Okay, now feel the energy of your heart expressing through your palms. Energy rising up into your feet and grounding you. Good. So if I was there pressing against you, you would not let me move you. Nice, Anna. Okay, and then inhale back through center. Exhale. And because this is a, it's kind of a twist, right? So feel how internal organs are also working with you here. Spleen, especially. Fortitude. Inhale slowly, slowly, coming through center. Exhale, pressing out. Good. And I'm also actively engaging my abdominal muscles. Right? And you'll learn also that when you're doing boxing, Anna, like the abs, you got to keep them tight, protect your organs. Okay. Inhale. Right, reading air currents. Exhale. Let's just pause and hold it for a moment. Like really feel the posture. And Inhale, slowly, slowly. Exhale. I'm going to do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back. Nice, Lorraine. Just pause. Notice. So now we're going to go into thunder. Watch me for a second. So I'm going to inhale. My top hand, meaning my right hand, is coming with the palm uh, facing in. So the back of the hand's facing out. And I turn like this. So it's like a, almost like a slapping motion, but I'm not slapping anything, right? And then the right hand comes under. The left hand turns out. Yeah, so just kind of move with me. Yep, that's it. Thunder. So you can do it really slowly, yeah, or fast.
Yeah, so let's pause just a second so so that we get this because I have my right hand kind of caught, my left hand is kind of carving in, my left hand is turned out and it's like, I'm trying to remember of how we used to practice this in the in the studio, but it's like you're turning around and you're like high-fiving somebody, right? And then you come over this way. but it's still connected with the breath. And my exhale, I'm doing through my nose, right? That's a martial arts breath. <laughs> my feet are getting all sweaty now. That's it. Nice, Lauren. Let's do a couple more movements. Okay, and then slow it down. And then just pause. Again, notice what you notice. From here, step the right foot back, draw the arms around. As you're coming down to the Taiji Mudra, just notice the quality of energy. And inhale, release the palms to the heavens, to the earth. and to the human. And we'll, we'll just come and sit to end, yeah? so this that whole practice because that was like the midway point and it follows an arc okay so you might notice your energy is kind of doing that that's a lot of like rising energy yeah if that's the case and you're cool with it use it and if you want to come down do heaven again Because heaven is really great at, at just uh, balancing. It's fascinating how each one is just energetically very different. Okay, you can also just put your legs up on a chair and allow your body to engage its own parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. Um, any thoughts or questions? Anything arising? Well, I did want to let you know. Um... A couple days ago, I've been having nature withdrawals like bad. I'm an outdoor person. I hate being inside. I love the sun. And there's a trail not too far from my where I am, the uh, Alameda Trail. It goes along the Rio Grande. And um, found a nice spot, little tiny part of beach all by myself. Nobody's around for a mile. And um, that one that you showed us that how you that you do over a body of water, 
Oh yeah. What it's called. But I did that a few times and it was really interesting and really felt like I was connecting with the water and in, in a very strong way. So the so, raising hands one. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's like, that's some serious shaman stuff happening with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was um, between storms too. I just, I kind of found the place on a whim that was very hidden trail. And uh, when I got there, I just had a feeling to stay for a while. A storm had just gone through. And by the time I just got a feeling that I should go, it started sprinkling again. <laughs> so it's like, hey, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, I mean, we're animals, you know? Mm -hmm. We know what's going on. It's just that, you know, we've programmed ourselves to like not pay attention. It's really weird. Yeah, have you heard of Tristan Gooley? Mm -mm, I don't think so. Uh, he's an author who writes about how to reconnect with nature and it's not spiritual at all. It's basically, these are your instincts. We've had them mowed over over the years, but we instinctively know how a bird's legs look before they land. You don't know that you know that, but you do know that, things like that. And it, it's very interesting stuff. I read everything of him, I think like, I can grab. It. Okay, maybe to text it to me, yeah? yeah. <clears throat> that'd be great yeah i totally agree with you and I, I actually think that one of the reasons we're so depressed and anxious is because we are not connected to oh, big time. yeah 100 percent um yeah anna um i'm just um observing in myself and it's been a few months now my energy is off the scale so I'm utilizing it through like different exercises. So I do do a bit of yoga only off, you know, YouTube. Um, I've started doing some free weights and me boxing and I ride me bike every single, but it's huge. It's like, I swear, but I've all, I've always had really high energy and quite a good, good, strong genetics really. Um, but I worry that I'm like bipolar or something. Because it's extreme. And I, I don't think I am. I've, I've never had any mental health diagnosis. And believe me, they've looked into me. I've got a high IQ. Didn't know that because I can't spell. Um, but, um, but yeah, I, I worry. I, I, I worry about myself. I mean, I, I, I don't think that's a simple question to answer. You know, also so much of it. <clears throat> depends on like endocrine levels and your hormone levels. And, you know, if you are feeling productive and have the ability to focus and you're, cause you could have a lot of energy, but your mind is not in a good place. That's I think what matters. It's yeah, like think, your mind at. I've experienced something very, very similar. And I think it comes down for, for me anyway, is that I've been basically taught not to trust myself. So when you feel that power, you feel that energy and that magic coming in, it's like, what can I trust myself with this? Am I good enough? You know, and, and that's what it is for me. So I, I have that clause where I've, every time I feel something that feels too big, I'm like uh, hesitant. Yeah. Yeah. I would, um, you know, like anything else, Anna, observe. Yeah. Observe. I'm just, come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and use that, I mean, look, use that energy for the benefit of other human beings. That's the point. Yeah. I'm I'm doing my, my basic program as well. So there's a lot of study. So I am utilizing my brain okay. as well. And and I practice, you know, I do have regular, you know, good practice on the mat, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, no, I know. I know. It's you know, I mean Qigong is energy cultivation and it definitely there's some practices that'll make your energy like skyrocket. Um and those practices are the ones in which you're just holding a posture for a very long time. Um, and I can, you know, when we get through this series, I, we can start doing those too. Um, those are intense. Um, but the, you know, this is why it's like, there's the rising energy and the, and the falling love energy, you know? So sometimes, especially for the, and this is the important thing, especially for those of us that have a trauma history, right? And are also naturally very energetic, right? I am, um, and I'm a double fire sign too, you know? Um, it's the question is whether I am going into a consistent SNS, sympathetic, you know, fight or flight, which looks really productive, or is it just mm -hmm. a trauma response? 
So that's that's where you need to be like, oh, okay, right. You know, are you are you still able to get like? Are, the question is, are you sleeping well? Yeah. Yeah. So then. Love. Love. Yeah. Love. I gotta bounce because I gotta go. Uh, I have to. I have school. <laughs> <laughs> So Thank much you so much, Gina. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so much. It was really great to share practice with both of you. Please stay well, and uh, and I'll I'll see you uh, in the ether.